What a beautiful day to compare major brands. Hey, Zach, who makes the best custom muffins? You do, Larry. <laughs> hey, Zach, who's got the best plants? You do, Alice. Yo, Zach, who's got the best custom dance moves? You know you do, Patrice. Hell yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Gaming competition. We've decided to challenge four makeup counters to find out who gives the best custom makeovers. The catch? They don't know they're competing. They don't even know they're in this video. We're just gonna roll up to four different makeup spots with a wild set of instructions. So going for like a three inch cat eye. You wanna look crazy. And find out who can turn our gibberish into true beauty. Is it gonna be any sort of like gendered look? You know, I just wanna look hot. <laughs> in the end, we will settle once and for all, where's the best place to beat that face? It's candid competition, and I'm feeling great. Our competitors today are Mac, Estee Lauder, Sephora, and Walmart. <laughs> but first, we need to decide what hot, hot looks we're going for. To help me on my beauty journey, please welcome professional MUA and skincare enthusiast, Rebecca Habersberger. Hello. Welcome, Becky. Thank you for being here. Today on Candid Competition, we want to make me the most beautiful I've ever been. Difficult, I understand. So what we have here to help us out is a beautiful photo. <laughs> Believe it or not, historically there have been some critiques of my looks. So I was told that I have, uh, uh, I believe, lazy eyes. Are you gonna be wearing false lashes? Well, um, I won't be wearing anything. So what? <laughs> It's gonna be too hard for me to get into makeup, get out of makeup, so we're gonna have a little corn buddy crew of lookalikes. But they're gonna look sort of like you? They're gonna look exactly like me. Today, I'm going to be Zach Cornfield. <laughs> makeup! Was that Zach enough? I'm Zach Cornfield, and today we're gonna get our makeup done. First things first, the eyes. Yeah, well what you would want to start with is tight lining. What's that? So it's where you draw on the inner rim. Wow, already my eyes I are see, popping. It pops wow, a that's bit. huge. You know what? There have been some people on Twitter who've been doing Try Guys looks. Zach is a mixture of serious and fun, and it's just that balance. What do cat eyes do? It's gonna bring things up so it makes everything look really lifted. Oh boy. And then he gets really excited and he does a lot of movements and they're big movements, but they only go one at a time. Here's what I wonder. I want that little like that little cleft. That little like I want the Cupid's the bow. The Cupid's bow. Yeah. You should tell them that you want fuller lips, but then tell them to do the fullest lips they've ever done. When I see Zach, I immediately go like this. I'm all over the place with my hands. I would love to be bronze. I'd also love to be chiseled. If we could combine the two, I'd be thrilled. Yeah. You want the bronzer to kind of hit the natural uh, places where the sun would hit? What about like a little diamond? You should throw in a beauty mark too. We're both stylish. We're both tiny. I think the only difference that I don't wear glasses, but this is easily solved. <laughs> Uh, so gentlemen, today you're going to be embodying me. Uh, hello, Zax. Um, Sam is our PA. Sam, I uh, had you run out and get some glasses for the boys. Fair warning, it's not Halloween season. These were only 10 bucks. <laughs> yeah, deal. What is this? <laughs> it's your little nose. It's, be... it's your little, oh. cute little nose thing. Okay, so here is the look. Are you ready to see? I'm yes. born. We today, on all three of you gentlemen, are going to be recreating <laughs> this look. Oh my god, hot. We're recreating that look on my face. Yeah. We're gonna have a three inch cat eye. Try Guys inspired eye shadow. Brows to the max. Slump lips. Little green diamonds underneath the eye. Bronzer brontoring. And last but not least, Least, a beautiful beauty mark. No matter what size they make it, we must request that they make it bigger twice. I'm very afraid someone's gonna tell you no. Are they gonna have like a backstory? Okay, so it's my daughter's prom. Your daughter's prom. Is that a convincing? I don't 
Yeah, my dad didn't get his makeup done for my mom, <laughs> so. So guys, here's the plan for today. We're gonna be going to three different makeup stores. You are auditioning for a very coveted role in the new season of American Horror Story Beauty Bloggers. I'm gonna have each of you follow a precise script so that we can get as close to the same looks as possible. This, this character, character is, is a beauty, beauty blogger gone, gone crazy. crazy. Sort of hot, hot clown hot chic. chic. You are each going to go in one at a time with your agent, Miles. You're each going to be running lines with your agent to help you get into the role. Daniel steps to the door and opens it quickly. A huge scaly demon with sexy lipstick and a perfect cat eye jumps through the door and onto Daniel. Help! Tracy, get the thing off me! At the end, you will all come back here with bags over your heads, and then we will reveal to find out once and for all who is the prettiest Zach. I mean, who does the best custom makeup? Are you Zach's ready? Yeah. I'm feeling really good about this. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Zach. How's it going? Good. What do you know about different makeup counters? Sephora, MAC, Estee Lauder, just to name a couple. Oh, I think of MAC as being like a millennial brand. Estee Lauder's a little more of your like middle-aged mom. Okay. You'll have more solid skills from say an Estee Lauder or a MAC just because I think there's more training involved. I would say Sephora, you could have maybe someone who's fucking dope. You might have someone who has not that many makeup skills working there. Wait, why are you asking me? Uh, never mind. Gotta go, Rachel. All right, we are outside of Macy's for Estee Lauder, our first location. Sam, you're first up. You feeling ready? Yeah, let's do this. Okay, Miles, you're the agent. You That's feeling good? I feel good. Liz, you are you're you're feeling good. All right, sick. All right, guys. Don't fuck this up. <laughs> let's go. Are you nervous that I'm? Um, I'm more nervous for your guys' cover walking around the store. I, just because I'm like nice to people and treat customer service people well, I don't think they'll get mad at me. But if they do, I'll probably cry. I don't know. I'm just gonna try to have fun today. <laughs> Honestly, like Zach is a funny person. So I think I'm gonna get bubbly and laugh and have fun. What are you gonna do if our cover is blown? Um, I think I'll just confess. All right, you ready, Emma? Yes, I am. All right, cool. What's your name? Zach Cornfield. That's right. That's right, Zach Cornfield. Um, so my, uh, this is my client here, Zach. Hi. Uh, Zach. Hi. Are you Hi. Zach? Yes. Cool. All right, uh, Zach, where do you want to sit? Uh, Where's my sister? This is my assistant, Liz. Just so. Nice to meet you. Um, what are you getting your makeup done for? So, I think I'm uh, auditioning for a role for American Horror Story, the awesome. new show. He has a big role coming up this afternoon, and they wanted like a full look. Do you guys have like a reference? Kind of. I, I know this seems silly, but yeah. it's like um, the lips are kind of big. They're like Lisa Vanderpump lips. So you so, do want it to look a little like... A little wild. Yeah. yeah. You would never get a request like this. Do you need it the way it is here? Just like with like pencils? But you don't have to use pencils. You can use like brushes and stuff like that. And they're also going for like a three inch cat eye. Okay. Um, <laughs> you want to look crazy. A little bit, okay. but, but, but cool. Cool. Yeah. And also have fun with it. Yeah, I can totally do that. Yeah, I trust you. You're gonna nail it. I'm excited to see how this is gonna go. So it's a foundation. Match to it. You have like perfect skin. Really? You feel beautiful. Already? Already. Our best selling serum. It like. Like Ooh, it hydrogen. smells amazing. Wow. Estee Lauder is a luxury brand. I think that they have like high quality stuff and they will probably push for more natural coverage. MAC tends to go, I think, like a little heavier. Very dramatic. I think that's what we're going yeah, for, we're going yeah. For I don't know, Sephora is kind of a grab bag because everyone goes to Sephora. People will come here for auditions, but they will typically just want like a super natural look. So this is fun. You would never get a request like this. Really? This well, yeah, because at this counter is more of the everyday woman. Not the <laughs> While you're doing the browser, is it cool? Yeah, we should run these so just so you have them before the audition. Is it okay if we run lines through the script while you put on the makeup? I think a couple people are gonna show up to this today and they're not gonna go full force on this. I wanna go all out. Here, take that. Um, and let's just go from the top of the scene just to kind of get it in your head. Your beauty blogger mansion morning, Daniel Fabulous, 20 with plump lips and a sexy little face, types ferociously on his MacBook Air. Sits in his midroom, surrounded by trashy posters and empty LaCroix. Oh wow, these people do not understand fashion. 
ugly little bitches. Ugly little bitches. Tracy Lipstick, a beauty queen, pops her head into his bedroom door. Hey DFabs, are you ready to go to the Esquire prom? All the rest of the house is going. Ugh, trashy event. Those people are so full of Botox, like their faces are made of butt implants. A loud scream sounds out from the closet in the bedroom. What the heck was that? Daniel steps to the door and opens it quickly. A uh, giant scaly demon with sexy lipstick, perfect cat eye, jumps through the door and on to Daniel. Help! Casey, get this thing off me. It's ruining my Chanel scarf. I'm gonna give you a full facial. The demon stabs Daniel through the heart. I didn't even have time to hook up with the sexy bartender. He, he dies. I have to leave because are we have an appointment? It's so I mean, you have to leave. This is gonna get dramatically weirder when you guys leave. If you get nervous, just lie. I have been. <laughs> what do you mean? My eyelashes are stuck together. And then we want the beauty mark. And it's just a little bit bigger, I think. Uh, I think a little bigger. Uh, I think just a little bit bigger. And maybe a tiny bit bigger. <laughs> oi. You say oi? Yeah, I said oi. <laughs> Boom, beautiful. That's perfect. It's like your face is cut out. I think it's beautiful. This is incredible. I feel like I'm Danielle Fabulous right now. Next up, Walmart. Excuse me, question. Do you guys have a makeup counter? Like where you do like like custom like uh, makeovers and stuff? No, you don't? Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Eliminated. Eliminated. Welcome back. We are done with the makeovers and have returned to the office, ready to reveal and judge. We put the bags over their heads so that I wouldn't see what they look like, but I do realize now it kind of looks like a snuff film. Yeah, it doesn't look great. I have an idea. This will make it so much better. And, okay. is, and now it feels more playful. This is, wow, this is good. You guys look fun. You know, sometimes you start your day just thinking I'm a normal guy, and then you finish it with a paper bag over your head and you realize I'm Zach Kornfeld and I am amazing. First up, Sephora. Amro, are you ready? Absolutely. Amro, are you wearing headphones? Uh, I'm on a clock, actually. I'm actually running sound for oh, this. Oh, right, video. that's true, I forgot. We couldn't find somebody else to run sound. Yeah, well, he's working. All right, in three, two, one. Oh, wow, Amro. Holy shit. Okay, for the first thing my eyes are going to is the, the Try Guys inspired eyeshadow. It's really lovely and it looks like she added a metallic sheen to it that is just gorgeous. The Marilyn Monroe mark is fantastic. It's still a look you can rock at a party. It's not oh, abrasive, absolutely. it's not too intense. It's a bring home to daddy look. Absolutely, daddy would approve. <laughs> You know, you're pulling off those eyebrows. I didn't even realize that they had made them thicker. I was like, where are the thick eyebrows? Yeah. She blended them. And really took time. You know, we had an hour uh, scheduled and she gave us a clean hour and a half, if not more. I'm not getting much of the contouring, but maybe it's just so natural that I don't know. She kept complimenting my skin tone, so. Zach Kornfeld is, is pale and pasty. But I think she saw beautiful Zach and mm -hmm. she was like, we don't need to work on it. Wow, so you're the Zach I should aspire to be. Yeah. No, I didn't say that, but you no. can. <laughs> <laughs> we gave her something very weird, and she made something pretty fab. Next up, Mac. Now, Jared, I could hear you squealing from the other room, so I know that you are feeling confident. I'm feeling hot. Well, I don't think it's every day that she gets asked to do what she did to me today, and um, I think I'm gonna stick out for her for years to come. In three. Two, one. Oh, 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 fuck! <laughs> oh, yeah! There she is! Jared, my god, let's dive the fuck in. We've divin. Your <laughs> lips. My lips? Yeah. It's like going down your beard. It's it looks like you bit something and its blood is drenched in your face. Your beard caused a few problems. My agent had to leave me alone. Miles! That is absolutely correct. As he's leaving, Miles says she's gonna ask about the lips bigger, and then you say yes, and if she asks again, you say yes again. I just wanna clarify, I actually did not say that. I said to make the beauty mark bigger. 
Totally misheard that. Yeah. <laughs> totally misheard but I, that. Yeah. You know, and then there was a moment I think where I didn't start touching my face. Your face gets itchy and I don't, when women put makeup on, how do you itch your face? It's a great point. Uh, you've got a nice Victorian pale in the front, augmented with a darker forehead. Yeah. Now, it almost looks like you're wearing someone else's face. <laughs> it does! <laughs> when I stood up and had to leave the mall by myself <laughs> and walk out the whole, through the whole mall, <laughs> I had to leave the whole mall like this, and I'll tell you, I think, I think everybody kind of picked up on the two-tone fix. <laughs> You have a more shocking look, but I do think that is correct. We were asking for a shocking look, emotionally and spiritually. This is achieving that. And finally, Estee Lauder. Samuel, how do you feel about your performance today? Um, I think I kind of sold it. Okay, well, I'm kind of convinced by that answer. <laughs> right on. And it is time to reveal the final look in three. Two, one. Oh! Wow! Take those glasses off. <laughs> Sam, you... <laughs> That's so good! <laughs> wow, Sam, you're looking great, and let me tell you, you're selling it. There's a beauty here that I don't think any of us quite realize. No. She did a contouring that is actually very lovely. This is a nice, naturalistic contouring that brings out the I don't know anything about makeup. It I'm brings out the chin. And I think the lips on this look are some of the best lips I've seen. Yeah. I mean, in life. In life, in wow. ever. I think that they're subtle, but they're plump. I'm kind of, I'm like looking at Sam and I kind of forget what he looks like to me. This is just what, what he looks like. And I guess that is what good makeup is supposed to do. Yeah. I think we can all agree that you look amazing, but it's almost such a naturalistic look that it's not giving me that punch in the yeah. gut. So it seems like we had three very different sacks today. Absolutely. Estee Lauder provided a beautiful naturalistic interpretation, but some of the horror vibe that we were going for is admittedly missing. And Mac, with a look that nailed the vibe, almost leaping off Jared's face. But when we look at some of the finer details, they are unfortunately askew. And Sephora, with a perfect execution of some of the details, but in a historic first, could we really give the victory to someone who didn't do bronze touring? Before I announce the winner, I just want to say, Zax, you all did an amazing job. And to our makeup artists, y'all really crushed it. And the winner of the candid competition, Makeup Face Race, is... Can I get a jump roll, please? At the end of the day, it's not about the makeup counters, but the people who work there. Beautiful souls who are there to beat your face and help you express your truest self, whatever Zach that may look like. Also, I'm, I'm really sorry if any of the makeup artists were excited for the new season of American Horror Story. I, I hope this video is a good consolation. Thank you for showing me that true beauty is on the inside, represented via makeup on the outside. It's a beautiful day. Ra, ra, ooh, la, la, congratulations, Sephora. <laughs> Congratulations, Amro. You get to keep that. Yeah. Actually, we need this for production, yeah, but we have a, we um, we'll, we'll, we'll text you a copy. And at the end of the summer, the world hadn't changed. My face had changed. Hey guys, great work today. See you guys.
To be fair though, Estee Lauder is not a glam company. Well then to be fair, they're not winning my competition. <laughs> To be fair, I would like to not blame it on her. It's I'd like to blame mine definitely on her. <laughs> I didn't come here to make friends. I came here to be America's Next Top Model. <laughs>